This is a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose. I am Tori, your host. Hello and welcome to this brand new day. We are reading through the Bible in a year. That means you can tune in with us for an encouraging word, inspiration, conviction, and feel a sense of community. We invite you to use a daily purpose to supplement your Bible study or to gain fresh insight into a particular scripture. And the best part? It's absolutely free, thanks to our ministry supporters. If you're led to become part of the Our Given Purpose family through a financial contribution, please visit OurGivenPurpose.com. Today's devotional from contributing writer Diana L. W. Coleman focuses on Proverbs chapter 11, verse 9, and it says, With their mouths the godless destroy their neighbors, but through knowledge the righteous escape. This verse contrasts the actions of the godless and the righteous. The godless are those who do not follow God's ways or do not have a relationship with Him. They use their words to tear others down and cause harm. They may spread lies, gossip, or slander about their neighbors, which can damage relationships and reputations. In contrast, the righteous use their knowledge and wisdom to escape harm. They are not only knowledgeable in worldly matters, but also have a deep understanding of God's ways and principles. They use their words to build up others and speak the truth in love. Proverbs 11.9 teaches us the importance of being mindful of our words and actions. Our words have power to either build up or tear down those around us. If we choose to follow God's ways and seek wisdom and knowledge, we can avoid the trap set by the godless and find a plan to safety. This verse reminds us of the importance of wisdom, knowledge, and using our words wisely. As we strive to follow God's ways and speak the truth in love, we can have a positive impact on those around us and avoid the destruction caused by the godless. Dear friends, let us prepare our hearts and turn our attention to contributing writer, Diana L. W. Coleman, and what she received from today's assigned passages. Guiding Scripture, Proverbs 11.9 With their mouths the godless destroy their neighbors, but through knowledge the righteous escape. In What Tongues Do You Speak? By Contributing Writer, Diana L. W. Coleman Is your tongue controlled? Having a controlled tongue means that we think before we speak, and the first thought that comes to our mind does not immediately fly out of our mouth. Once we have learned how to control our tongue wisely, our tongue knows when not to speak, when to keep silent. It knows how to be sensible and turn off the flow of words. It speaks wisdom and truth. Have you mastered self-control over your tongue and what it says? James chapter 3 tells us that the tongue is a small member, but it can do severe damage when not mastered. Indeed, if you can't control this small member of your body, there will be little else you can control. Dear friend, do you have a caring tongue? Having a caring tongue means that we do so with compassion and encouragement to help foster change as we tell the truth. We do not slice and dice people with our tongue, but try to bring healing and help to cheer them and express a better way. A caring tongue knows that kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. Proverbs 16.24 There are two tongues everyone should strive to speak in and exercise control with God's Holy Spirit to help to be in obedience with God. The other two tongues are demonic by nature and are against God, and we should want no part of either the conniving tongue 
spewing gossip, slander, falsehoods, lies, wrong motives, and cruel intentions, or the careless tongue. That is no better because of its lies and hot-blooded words of devastation that only serve to annihilate and demolish relationships. I pray that you seek God's Word as you examine the thoughts and use it for the correction. You are not alone as you continue to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And What Tongues Do You Speak? By Contributing Writer, Diana L. W. Coleman. One of the best parts of Bible study is sharing with one another. These devotionals give us the perfect opportunity to spark conversation about God's Word. We are interconnected and have more similarities than differences. Please keep spreading the light and take a daily purpose into your next coffee chat, commute to work, or even discuss today's devotional over a meal with family and friends. Let someone else know they can find a daily purpose on YouTube, all major podcasting platforms, Facebook, and Instagram. Please visit OurGivenPurpose.com for more resources. We are thankful to all who support this ministry and podcast. Your donations make it possible to provide this content. We would love to count you as part of the Our Given Purpose family. Your one-time or monthly contribution helps us spread God's message and connect with people around the world. Remember, you have seeds to sprinkle and don't lose sight of the ones falling on you. Where will they grow? By the road and shallow soil and thickets? Or will they find a home in good soil to flourish and produce a good work? What God has begun in you, He will complete. Have faith and be bold. Thank you for listening to today's devotional by contributing writer Diana L. W. Coleman. Please visit OurGivenPurpose.com to get on our phenomenal mailing list and receive a daily purpose directly to your inbox, connect with our contributing writers, and partner with Our Given Purpose.